Hey guys, welcome back. And today I'm doing a video on Grant Delpit. He was a second round pick for the Cleveland Browns in the 2020 NFL Draft. And he was also actually part of the 2019 LSU team that went 15-0 and won the national championship. He was their starting free safety. And he did get hurt for a little bit of that season. He did miss a few games in the middle of the year. But when he was healthy, he was one of the best players in all of college football. He was probably potentially the best defender, probably the best second best DB on his team, if not for Derek Stingley Jr., to future top five pick at corner. But He's one of the best defenders on his team and in, in the entire uh, SEC and all of college football. And he was he missed his entire rookie year for the Cleveland Browns with the torn uh, Achilles or some other injury, I think, ankle or something like that. And he's supposed to be coming back next uh, next season for 2021. And he, he should be there technically the starting free safety. They're counting on him to be that, I think. And if he's healthy, I think he's going to do very good in that role. And I think he's going to make a lot of big plays for the Cleveland Browns, which they desperately need on that defense. And yeah, with that, uh, let's get into it here. There's just a few plays I want to break down and show you guys why I think he's going to make a big impact if he can stay healthy for this Cleveland Browns defense. So this first play here is against Jordan Love. Actually, this quarterback right here is Jordan Love, first round pick by the Packers in last year's draft, very famous, controversial pick. But this, this, this kind of shows the abilities that Delpit has in terms of what he can do as, as a safety, as a true safety, right? He's out here playing single high and he comes in and just picks his ball off, dude. Like like he st he sticks his he sticks his receiver, and gives up no separation and literally makes a money money play, dude. They're gonna show the better angle here. All twenty two. Like he's literally making the catch and jumping the route, or making the play for the receiver, getting in there. And love it feels bad for Jordan Love right here. He's kind of getting pressured and it's you know he's having a bad game. They're down forty two to six, so definitely not ideal. He's just trying to you know chuck one up and hope something works out. But Grand Delpit's on the other side. Grand Delpit sees this coming. Grant Delpit reads the ball the entire way. His eyes are tracking it. He's literally in position for the receiver, jumps up and makes the catch for the receiver and completes the catch as if he was the receiver and picks it off. Really, really good play there. And one last thing to show for this play just very quickly. This is the other angle for, for this. He's literally, as you can see, he's tracking the ball the whole way. He also has his left arm on the receiver to kind of feel where he is just to make sure that he's tracking it properly. The receiver is kind of screwed as, he, as he's out of position. And Delpit comes up and makes not just not just makes the play in the ball, he, he picks it off. Right? It's, it's more than just a pass defense. He actually gets the whole interception. So just wanted to kind of point that out there. Really, really good play. This play is actually against Florida in a very tight game. And I'm, I'm just going to let this play play out. This is a, this is on Kyle Pitts, 84, that just had the ball plopped out. That was Kyle Pitts, fourth overall pick at tight end, by many to be considered a gener generational talent, future Hall of Famer. You know, before PFF has the Brady as the fourth best tight end, and he's yet to play a snap in the league. 84 right there. Delpit's coming over top right there. But I think you're going to see with Delpit, which is really, really cool that a lot of defenders can't do, especially in today's NFL, is he's able to tackle in a way that still attacks the football and still is, is able to kind of dislodge the ball without getting called for targeting or using his head or forcing a penalty. Right? He, he comes in, if they're going to show, right? Yeah, this is the perfect angle. So he, he times this so well. He waits for Pitts to get the ball right then and there. And he comes in. He's able to kind of like not lead with his head, but more of his back and his shoulder and hit pits in the torso and basically dislodge the ball and make it so that this was a touchdown. This is literally, he's on, he's at the end zone. This is a TD you're going to see right here. He's literally like about to score and he get up just able to contort his body like this and hit pits. Like this is, you're going to see this. And this is not just a fluke thing. This is a way Delpit tackles that he actually is able to replicate in future games. I'll show you guys a couple more plays where he does this, but this is on Kyle Pitts. Like this is a hard, this is a hard guy to tackle as the hard guy to force anything on ever, right? Kyle Pitts burns so many good DBs. Kyle Pitts has such good hands. Kyle Pitts can do so many things, but Delpit does not give a shit, dude. He comes in, uses like his back shoulder and like the back part of his head without, once again, not a targeting call and hits Pitts cleanly in an area where he's allowed to force the ball out, dude. Like that's, that's fantastic, fantastic stuff, man. That, that kind of play, stuff like that will translate. Up next play right here. I kind of want to point out here. He's he's ready to bring the boom whenever. And the, once again, the thing I really want to emphasize here is that he can play free safety because he, he can play single high, you know, cover one if need be. He can roam the entire field by himself if he has to. Because you're going to see right here, one defender, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's only ten guys on the screen here because uh, and Delpit's actually off the screen. He's, he's number 11. He's not even in frame right now. He's literally... Uh, 10, 15 yards behind the line of scrimmage, like in, uh, the other way. And he's going to come in from off the screen to make this play right here, right? Even if Judy were to catch this ball, because the ball is thrown kind of inaccurately, but even if he did catch it, he was going to get destroyed by Delpit, dude. Delpit was literally right there as soon as the catch is made to make this big hit. He, he can play that cover one, like true free safety role if need be, 
very versatile, very useful. And he can also man cover, as you're going to see right here, as they, they circled him for us right there. He sticks to this receiver the entire way through and almost has it uh, bounced off for a pick. And sure, this is against Vanderbilt, not the most amazing talent. I get that, but he's able to stick to this uh, tight. I believe it's tight. He's able to stick to the tight end without forcing a, a penalty flag or holding, able to also just make a play on the ball too without, you know, on top of that. Really, really solid stuff, man. Like he's, he, he does not get, like he gives up no separation. He runs with this guy, you know, stride for stride, comes in, makes a play. This play is also, I'm just, I'm not even like stopping. I'm just showing you guys plays as, as they roll. This play is also really cool. He can close his, the space, you know, that he, he can close space very quickly and he can kind of get his hands up and once again, make plays on the ball, dude. Like he, he times this up, he times this up really well and sees when Jalen Hurts is going to throw it, gets right in the lane of it and the ball literally hits him in the face, dude. If he has a little more precision, he can actually pick this ball off instead it gets bounced up and deflected, but that's fantastic, man. What is this play going to be? Oh, this, this is another play. Once again, the, the, the tackling I was mentioning earlier, the way he's able to tackle guys, he does it again here, dude. He's able to go so low to the ground and force and basically make sure make sure that uh, Kyle Trask can't get the first down. You're going to see the much better angle here in a second. This might be it right here or the next one. So the first thing to point out, he was covering Kyle Pitts on the play. As you can see right here, gives up no separation, no separation. That doesn't matter right there. He comes back. He's able to get so low. Here's his angle. Look, look, look how low he <laughs> look how low Delta gets. Like Delta's literally like his knees are almost on his knees are on the ground and he's still going in for the tackle. He's able to lower his body and his torso and his head below Kyle Trask and tackle him. Like most guys when in, in a situation like this, they have to kind of like stand up and like kind of use their chest and kind of just like try to grab them and push them down. He's able to actually get so low to the ground to where he's literally below Kyle Trask, who's also ducking, <laughs> and he's able to make him flip over and Make sure he can't get that first down. That's such a hard tackle to make that like he can make frequently, consistently, man. Like straight up, straight up. This is another play on future. Um, this is on number 85 here, Jalen. Give me a second here. So he's matched up on this guy right here, the guy across from Delta. This is 85 Jalen Weidermeyer. He's projected to be a first round pick in next year's draft. He's projected to be a uh, potentially top 20 pick. People are saying he's the best tight end in next year's draft. So once again, ta talented quality uh, football player that he's covering here. He's able to completely, once again, like I showed the play against Vanderbilt and that wasn't impressive. That's fine. This is a play against a future first round pick tight end. And he's able to stick to him like fucking glue, dude. Like cannot give, does not give up any separation the whole way, dude. He's able to, he's able to play press decently well too. He doesn't get shaken off. Mon tries to throw it. He's, he, he actually comes in and makes the, makes the cut for the receiver and almost actually picks the ball off. He actually gets his hand on the ball and almost picks it off. <laughs> so that's, that's really cool too. And then you're going to see this next, next play here in the same game. That first play was an almost pick. This play is a pick. <laughs> and this is against Kellen Mond. This is against quarterback who was drafted, right? This is against, and he's also playing single high. Like there's so much, just in these few plays, there's so much you like to see here, dude, from Delpit. He can do so many things. Like he's rotating the entire, like he is, he is, like there's no defender anywhere there, there. Like he is the one man, like the last line of defense. He is playing cover one, tr like the true free safety role, which in today's league is a very hard position to play, you know, properly because there's so many different things happening on an offense that, you know, safeties get abused quite a bit, but Delpit's able to play center field, roam the field, read Kellen Mond's eyes, track the ball in the air and come in and pick it off. Like this is like, he makes it look so casual. But that's, a, that's not an easy play to make, man. And that's, a, that's not a quarterback who was drafted in the third round. Like he, I mean, he made a, he made a pick against Jordan Love first round pick. He made a pick against Kellen Mond third round pick. He made a game saving tackle against Cal Trask second round pick. He's, he made a play not on Tua Tagovailoa, but against Alabama, you know, against on Jerry Judy, had he, had Judy made that catch, he would have blown him up there. J Judy was a first round pick. Like Delpit, Delpit's for real, man. Delpit, Delpit is for real. He can make these kind of plays game in, game out. This is another play. What, what play is this one? This oh, this one's lit, dude. This one's this one's lit. <laughs> this might be the best play of the entire of his of his entire season, man. Look at he's able to jump this with better timing than the receiver. The receiver, the receiver right here has jumped up for the ball. The ball is thrown. The receiver jumps up thinking he's going to catch it. Delpit actually times himself better and jumps up with better timing than the goddamn receiver, dude. And he actually comes in and makes what should be an interception. I think he drops at the very, very last second, but he actually comes in and makes a better play, a better catch than the goddamn receiver makes, dude. And once again, he's playing that center fielder. He's playing single high cover one, dude. He's able to read Cal Trask and see where the ball is going and get there with perfect timing and almost make a fucking... Like, look at this. <laughs> Ah oh, man, dude, this is phenomenal stuff. Like 
for you don't see safety feel like this very often in today's NFL, especially or in college football. Like Delpit's for real, man. Delpit's a super talented, super skilled dude who can play if he can stay healthy, can play that true free safety role, dude. He literally comes in and makes like this is a Madden type play. This is the kind of stuff you see on Sports Center fucking Madden cover. Like this is phenomenal, dude. To read that, to cover that much space, to come in and actually almost pick that off. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. What play is this here? Oh yeah, once again, this is the tackling. He's able to he's able to, as you can see right here, once again, Delpit's number seven right here. He's able to he's able to get low. He's able to get low below the quarterback, dive at his legs. See, see right here? He's able to keep doing that. Use the his like shoulder and back and the side of his helmet without targeting and almost force a fumble too. Like he attacks right where the ball is being held. This could have very easily been a forced fumble, just like it was on Kyle Pitts, basically. Really, really cool stuff, dude. Another play here against Ole Miss, playing that single high free safety role, comes in and actually makes a better play on the ball than the receiver or the corner covering the receiver, almost picks this one off too. Almost picks this one off too. And he he actually got, he was injured in this game too. He was injured in some of the, quite a few of these games actually. He had a pulled hamstring, a pulled groin, something like that. I forgot. Comes in, almost picks this one off too, dude. As you're going to see right there. He's always around the ball. He's always on the ground a little bit. But once again, as you're going to see, as you're going to see right here, he's able to lower his body, use his shoulder and his side of his helmet without targeting, without using his, using his helmet and makes a play and almost could have potentially forced a fumble too. He, he frequently does this. He is such, he's, he's able to contort his body in such a weird way and make plays like that. It's fantastic, dude. And this is the last play of the video that I'm going to show right here. This is actually the, basically the game winning play on the national championship. Like they were up by a lot and like they technically weren't going to really lose, but this is like a drive Trevor Lawrence trying to put together to give his team a chance. Once again, Delpit's able to literally get his knees on the ground and tackle Lawrence, even though Lawrence is ducking and lowering his body. And he also forces the fumble too. He forces the fumble and Stingley picks it up and they win the game. Like he, he can tackle like this on anyone against, and he's doing this against all, against Trask, Love, Mond, Lawrence, Tua, all guys who got drafted, all guys who are going to play in the league at some point, right? On T Higgins, on Kyle Pitts, on on Jerry Judy, on like on Jalen Watermeyer, first round picks, second round picks, all against top, top tier talent. He's making big tackles, big interceptions, big plays on the ball, right? This is a game winning fumble on Trevor Lawrence, dude, in the national championship game against, you know, the proclaimed, you know, future Hall of Famer. He's out here making a game winning fumble on him. And look at the way, look at the way he tackles, man. You're going to show the other, other angle here. No, nah, not that. He's able to get so low to the ground and avoid using his head or hitting Lawrence or anyone else in the head and makes a play on the ball and he gets picked up by Derek Stingley and they secure the, the win for the, for the secure the fumble recovery for the win. Delpit's a savage dude. Delpit's a beast. And he comes from a long line of successful safeties from his school. As you can see right here, or not, not the most successful of all of all of them, but you know, Jamal Adams was really good. Tyron Matthews was very good. Eric Reed was pretty good when he was in the, in the league, these other three guys, not as much. I don't think, I don't know who the first three guys here are, but like Delpit's for real, man. Delpit's, Delpit's an animal, dude. And he, he won the Jim Thorpe award because he is a damn good defensive back, dude. And it's unfortunately, he was kind of injured for part 2019. He missed he, before, before like 2019 started, he was ranked as the third overall prospect in the draft. And that's with good reason, right? Injury has really tanked his stock, unfortunately. And he has to prove that he can stay healthy, but if he can stay healthy, he's going to be I would say a steal for the Cleveland Browns in the second round, man. Like if he can stay healthy, he can be one of the best safeties, one of the best players period in the entire league, man. Like he makes big plays. He makes big plays 24 seven, dude. To be able to tackle like this is wild, man. Like it makes Kyle Trask literally flip over. Most guys cannot, most guys would just kind of let the quarterback just, you know, kind of run and slide or kind of just grab them and hope, you know, to stop the momentum. Delpit actually goes and dives literally He's like on the ground. And he's still making that tackle, using his shoulder, using his back, making that play. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I just wanted to make a quick thing on Delpit and kind of show the versatility, the range, how he can, you know, play free safety. He can play in the box. He can, you know, make, he tackles really well. He's not afraid to tackle. He's inviting tackle. He invites tackles. He can force fumbles. He can get interceptions. He can roam the entire field. He can do whatever you got need him to do. He can blitz. He can, you know, also do that. He can do whatever you need him to do. He can do, and he's good at almost everything that he does. The only issue is the injury concerns that is valid. And I hope he can stay healthy. I hope that doesn't become a recurring thing. We'll have to see. Once again, dude, national championship game on Trevor Lawrence. You know, game is still not technically over, even though it is kind of over. But, you know, the, Lawrence is still trying to go down and make something happen, kind of. And he just makes that fumble, dude. 
casually. He makes makes his kind of plays every game against top tier quarterbacks who all got all got drafted, top tier receivers and tight ends who all got drafted for the most part. Really cool stuff, yeah. Uh, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, you're always free to like, share, and subscribe. It really helps my channel grow, and I really appreciate it. And uh, feel free to share this with any Cleveland Browns fans or LSU fans or anyone who just kind of wants to know more about football and safety. 